Hello everyone, Troopa Basically, welcome back to the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Last time, we, which was a ways back actually though, we did finish up everything in the first Crash Bandicoot game, even showing off the DLC level Stormy Ascent. But, so we're back here though, because this time, we're going to be going to the second game, Crash Bandicoot 2. It's Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back. So let's go on ahead and let's, and let's do this. <laughs> Crystals, of course. No. Apparently, he and Homer Simpson took the same grammar class. But Doctor Cortex, to reach full power, we need not only your master crystal, but also the remaining twenty-five slave crystals from the surface. How do you expect to retrieve them when we don't have any Earthbound operatives left? You fool! Do you think I'm unaware of the situation? If we don't have any friends left on the surface, then we'll need to find an enemy. <laughs> Make yourself useful, big brother, and bring an extra battery for me. So we're starting off this little intro level over here, though, where Coco has sent us to go get a to, to go get the battery with this stuff. Also, notice that there's a new thing there for to to crouch over here. That you can kind of crouch and crawl down with this. Stuff. No, that's not really going to be as useful for the for the main part of things, though, with, with this though. But what this is going to be useful for is if you hold forward and then do that, though, you'll slide. And the slide feature of this is so helpful. This is easily one of the best additions that they've had for the for this game here. Well, with this one fast, because that slide is going to be so helpful with this. Though, and I'm so glad this is I finally get to use that. Though, it, to clarify, that was not in the first Crash game. This is like this is a Crash 2 edition, though. And the Insane Trilogy doesn't have it either, though. But before we can get too far, we get pulled into this little vortex. So, so sorry, we're not getting that laptop battery then. Because we get pulled into this new mechanic over here, though, the warp room. And we got a cutscene to play here. Well, well, well. If it isn't Crash Bandicoot, welcome. I apologize for the crude means used to bring you here. But I'd rather expect a written invitation would have been turned down. I need your help. Surrounding you are a series of five doors. Through each door lies a well-hidden crystal. The crystals look like this. Bring me the crystals, Crash. That is all I will say for now. We will speak again. So yeah, so yeah, we basically are now stuck here with this. Though we, there's no way out of this. Though, but the the these are about five doors here. These four, the, the, these these five little gateways here with this. Though, so we can actually do these in any order that we want with it. Though, and, and also off to the side, there's like the you see the, the, you get hints about as far as like what's hidden in each one over here. Though, so. Be able to show that a bit more though as we go into the first stage, Turtle Woods, so, which is a pretty good basic it, first level with it. So, and also hit be kind to the box to earn a special gem. So, gems are handled a little bit differently in this one here. There's still a box gem with this though, but but now that there can be other things that can happen to get to get an extra gem as well. So some stages have more than one gem in them. This is one. This is one of those stages that is saying. That has more than one gem in it, though, because it said be kind to the boxes to earn a, to earn a special gem, though. So that means we to, to to get that special gem, we cannot break any of the boxes. Even if you break even one, you fail the condition. And there's only one point where that gets a bit awkward, though, with that. Though. So yeah, I can't, can't even break a checkpoint box with it, though. But so I'll go with this one first. Also, yeah, enemies have kind of got a little bit different as well, though. Like these some of the stars over there, though, that like you can't slide into them though or spin into them because they got the spikes on the sides. Though, so, so some enemies are now set up to where you have to, you have to beat them in certain ways, though, because they have means of protecting through one of your attacks, like the ones with the spikes of it, that though you have to jump on them to to get them flip over or take and take them out. Though, this is the part that gets a bit awkward, though. But you can you can bounce off the crate, no problem, though. You just can't break it, though. 
So, so the ones that the, so the, so the ones that have the fruit in them though will are the ones that you'll be able to just just use. You, you can just go through them normally though. I don't want. I, I'm, I'm nervous about spinning enemies though, because if, if I spin an enemy into a box, that'll count. Because I want that. Because I want that counter to be zero to get that special gem that the, the game was talking about. But also, yeah, an, uh, another new collectible that we have to get in this game as well are the crystals that Cortex told us about, though. And even though it's pretty clear from the intro scene, though, that giving the, give, the giving them the giving the crystals to Cortex would be a bad idea, we don't have a choice. We have to get the crystals. The, the game will not let us proceed without that, though. But yeah, special gem, the blue gem for for being kind to the boxes with this, though. So, so yeah, color gems have been have been redone now as well. So sometimes those color gems are now the ones that are. Some of the extra gems that are in the, and that though, and it can be a few different things with that though. Though I think that's the only case of in, in this game though where you have to go through a stage without breaking a box to get to get one of the gems though. I think it's the, I believe this is the only time in this game that does that. And also, we finally get the the crash dance, the famous crash dance here with this though that we didn't really get to see in the first game though. But we get a crystal and we get another cutscene. Kind of well done, Crash. I knew I could rely on you. Now listen carefully. These holograms are hard to maintain. During the course of my intellectual pursuits, I have stumbled across a force that threatens to destroy the world. The crystals are the only means of containing it. The fate of the world is at stake. It is imperative, therefore, that you bring them to me. No neutron, I'm not here. I'm not. Uh, like, I'm, 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 I'm not there. I'm not getting your laptop battery for you, neutron. Cause Cortex has done something here, though. But okay, so now we have, now we're going back to, into Turtle Woods, though, because there is still the box gem that we have to get for that for that one, though. So if I wasn't trying to 100% this game like I was the first one, though, I wouldn't be bothering to go back for that one, though. But but yeah, unfortunately, but yeah, since I am though, I have to go back to the. To, so unfortunately, that also means. There's gonna be a good amount of times in this game where you got to play stage the stage multiple times to to get everything. No, if not, or if you don't want to actually just just go back to the war room and go through the scenes like that though, you, to like intentionally take a death to to get that. To, you know, to, have, to have to do that though. This part over here also another new mechanic over here though. I mentioned the crash thing before though. Crash button in midair. He basically gets a belly flop move though, which is basically his version of a ground pound. Like another, another new move, so yeah, they really expanded Crash's move set here. Well, once those turtles are flipped upside down, you, you, you can get them as you can take them as well. Yeah, the checkpoint box here. There's this is this is not a uh, this isn't a bonus stage. So also yeah, another new mechanic up over there though. Night the, oh down there I should say, nitro crates. You may, if you've played any of the other Crash games, though, you've probably seen these things over here. They're kind of like the TNT crates, though, that, that they explode, but if you so much as touch them, they explode. So there's no way... They're not doing... Oh, boy. I'm amazed I got out of that one. And I'm amazed I made that jump as well, though. But it, yeah, I'm actually amazed I got around that, though. So, yeah, yeah new hazard there. Oh, crud. I... Okay, that, that's good at least though. A little trick of this game here, for this one here. If, if you, you can jump out of a slide though, and you can actually even get a little bit, get a little bit in mid air with it as well though. But another thing as well, if you spin as your as you begin your ascent, you do get a little more height from it though. So it, a little bit of a, a nice little trick that's in this in this one with that though. If something like that happens though. Yeah, the green box over there though will detonate all nitro boxes in the stage though because the nitro boxes also count toward the box total as well. That green, that that switch, that switch is what you use to dis, to take out the to take out the nitro boxes without intentionally taking a hit. So at least I did think of that. Though. Also, bonuses are done a bit differently as well. There, there's no tokens. There's now there's a platform that you take to to go to bonus stages over here. The, the little place for that for that though. They function the same as before. They function they function the same as before though. Those boxes you have to get in them as well. And you basically get extra lives though. You don't lose lives if you if you fail a bonus stage though, but but you do lose Aku masks, so 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 
So, 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 so that that stayed the, that has stayed the same from the first game. And then, but otherwise, though, th this this is pretty much just Crash Bandicoot. It, 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 gameplay wise, it's, it's still the same Crash Bandicoot side of things that you've seen before from like the first game and such like that. Though it's just new moves, new features here, and and on and a weird attempt at a plot with this though. So including so, it includes some other characters getting get voice acting, including Coco, who who I was who I was calling Neutron earlier though, and. And the reason for that is actually pretty obvious, because Coco's voice actress Debbie Derryberry is also the voice actress that voiced Jimmy Neutron. So, so I might, I might be calling her Neutron every now and then for that though, because because that though, because like I watched that one when I was a kid though, fun little time. But yeah, actually, yeah, I, I should also bring up though, this is the game that 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 actually is Coco's official debut. I was about to say, why did that uh, box break for a second? But, but yeah, th this game was the one that actually officially debuted Coco because she was not originally in the first game, though. That was her appearance in in the first game, and this one was was the addition of the of the remake. With, with that though, but but that but yeah, th this game in the original series though was her official debut, and it shows through the cutscenes here. Also, yeah, if you, you you can skip the dance if you don't want to see it each time. But also got another scene here. You have acquired a gem. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> well, Crash, <laughs> know this. As long as you are allied with Cortex, you are my sworn enemy, and I will do anything in my power to stop you. <laughs> if the fate of the world is truly your concern, you must gather the gems, not the crystals. You obtain all 42 gems. I can use them to f f focus a laser. Ah, yes, a laser beam that will destroy Cortex and the space station he has created. Until then, I must use my forces to stop you from gathering pistols. <laughs> Wait a minute! You want me to help you out, but you're gonna kill me too? Also, how did you? How did you not? Because how did you turn back from being the Hulk from the first game? Because yes, that was Brio from, from, from the first one, though. Yeah, so yeah, he's actually not working with Cortex this time because Cortex has a different assistant this time, though. But but the for that though. But yeah, no, it, it isn't really so much that he's turned over a new leaf, though. He just wants payback for Cortex for for ditching him, more or less. But yeah, so. I'm actually going to skip Snow Go for the time being and go to this one hanging because this is another one that has multiple gems that I can get. And it's probably it's going to take more than one visit as well. So so I, I also don't want these to go on too long as well. Though, so I might, I might only be doing two stages this time around though. But but the fact that, the, the fact that I'm having to get two gems in these stages though means that these are going to be longer ones with that though because I'm more or less having to play these stages twice. The extra gem in this one though is actually a bit... Interesting to say Lisa. So, so Oh great great timing there for that though gotta wait for this thing to Also yeah like before though crash can't swim I'm ignoring that checkpoint box right there though because there's a timer at the bottom right there for that though You have to get to the end of the stage before that time runs out to, to, to get that though But yeah, so, so yeah, you basically use the you basically use the, the You basically just use the different buttons to, to try to give yourself a little speed boost there for that though, and again, we're kind of getting a glimpse of the stage here since I'm doing the since I'm doing the speed path first. So. Also, yeah, need to have the. Also, yeah, you do need to have the the, the blue gem from this stage Whoa. to get the box gem for this one though, because there's a blue gem platform over there. It's like get on the get on the surfboard crash. But yeah, so see, we, see they, they kind of took took the stream levels from the first game though and added the surfboard me mechanic to it though. So it's a, it's actually interesting in that regard with that though. I, I like the idea behind it though, and I also like the music to the, this to this stage as well though. Didn't really get to listen to it too much though because we because I went for the I went for the fast path for this one though. So honestly, if I really wanted to, I probably could have just intentionally taken a death and, and just gone back there. But honestly, I'd rather hold on to my lives because like the first game though, these first few stages aren't so bad. The later stages get the later stages get pretty bad, especially if you're trying to 100% and get all the gems. There's a few, there's a couple that come to mind immediately that are 
rather infamous, shall we say. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and head back into Hang 8 real fast, though. And I'm going I'm to go ahead and just let the music play for a little bit, though, to let us know. Because, again, I enjoy this song real fast, though. So I'm going to take my time and let the music play a bit. Or I would if I wasn't about to get another Aku crate. Okay, so we're, we're probably gonna have to listen to this later. We'll probably have to listen to this later. So much, so much for that. I forgot I had, I already gotten two Aku crates. So I, had, so anytime I would get that one, I would. Do the, okay, now, okay, now, maybe, let's try this again. Maybe we can try this again. Now. Also, yeah. By the way, you can't get your Aku can't be won't, won't be active while you're on the board as well. So if you have it active, it won't do anything. So now let's see if we can let the music play. Okay, so, so, so probably got a, got a couple of snippets there real fast though, but yeah, but yeah, I didn't go for the bonus early though because I believe going for the bonus stage here will will deactivate the timer and, and make you lose that one though. Also, yeah, T and T grades are back as well though. If you if you if you're, you wanted to play the stages in order, the the there are T and, the, the second stage snow go would have shown would have shown that that was there as well. would have shown that the T and T grades are back as well. But. But that's the end of that one, though, and like I said, I'm not as worried about it. I don't want to be... I don't want to get too far ahead with, with some of this, though. Although, I say that, though, and I think there's... If I remember right, something's coming up, but that's a bit nasty as well. Because, yeah, this blue gem pathway, though, things tend to be a bit tougher for this one here, though. But, yeah, the blue gem pathway isn't so much to, to get, like, an all sort of gem or anything like that. Although, they will sometimes do that in this game. This is just so because you got to get more to get more of the boxes here, though, because otherwise you're not getting the box gem. And let's see here. This forget. Oh, I just shot, barely overshot it. Yeah, the death perception is gonna mess with you here with stages like that, though. And there's actually one thing that's in one of these stages, here, like this one, where it gets pretty bad. <laughs> that gets pretty bad. It makes it easy to overshoot. And, it, and like before, like like the first game, Crash can't swim, so he so much as touches that water, he's a goner. Well, but it had to happen at some point. It just sucks that it happened to be the sec it had to be the second stage there with that though. But hopefully, let's do better here. You get out of here. This this part gets a bit awkward as well because you got to bounce off the crates to get to them there. And having to dodge these nitros, I am not a fan of this because the, the fact that those nitros can the nitro boxes can also jump can bounce up as well though, and it can happen. It can happen when you're trying to bounce off something else as well, well when you're trying to get over them, which makes them very awkward to get past. Oh, the bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. Okay. Surfboard controls, the surfboard controls are a bit awkward as well because the, the fact you kind of keep moving forward, but even once you actually take, take your, even when you take your finger off the, off the control stick. But yeah, you can use... But you had to get to get the boost through those to, to make it to, to get all those crates there. And yeah, you did. And yes, you did have to hit that switch up there to get some of those crates to appear. You, you may see some of the more outlines. All right, so let's go over here though. Make sure you hit. Make sure you hit that. Make sure you hit the nitro crate there, and we get to go back over there though. Looks like there will be something over there by those plants over there though, with that platform over there though. That could actually look like it'd be a good spot to have an Easter egg though. I wonder if that's a fake crash spot though. That's why where Fake Crash can show up in this one, though, because like the first game, though, Fake Crash will, will start showing up after you beat the game. So I wonder if that's a spot where Fake. Uh, I wonder if that's one of the spots where Fake Crash can show up, like like as an Easter egg. But in any case, though, so we're almost to the we're almost to the end of this level here with this one, real fast though, and. I mean, I'm a little bummed that I did take one. I did take a life loss though with that though. But again, like I, I usually have a problem with these stages though with the depth perception with that though, trying to make some of those jumps with that. And I was worried I spun a little too early there for a second there. So now we get the box gem here, and 
I think this is going to be a good place to end off this part real fast, though, because I'm, I'm looking at over 20 minutes now, so... Or, or roughly 20 minutes at this point, though, with, with that, though. So I think this is going to be a good point to end off this video here, though. So let's go ahead and get the gem... Get this gem set, and then we're... Have Crash go through his little Crash Dance, and we're going to go ahead and end off this video here. So next time on, on the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, we're going to be going through more of these stages here in the Warp Room, though, and get, and get more... More of the gems, as well as more of the crystals for Cortex, even though everything that we've seen so far says that it's a bad idea. And Crash doesn't care about that, though, because he's an idiot, though, and cause, so he's still going to do his dance no matter what with that, though. Even though the gem, even though the crystal's not the best idea. Oh! This is a new one, actually, though. He actually gets a, like, a, new, a new Easter egg that he got, has a yo-yo to play with. Unfortunately, I've got too many bad memories of... Of, of fighting of fighting good nest players on Smash Brothers to really appreciate that as much though, but I digress though Till next time see you guys then and thank you all for watching